everybody, UGX Treminer here, and today I'm going to show you the latest addition to UGX Mod version 1.1, placeable sentry turrets. Wasn't that exciting? No? Anyone? Oh wait, did I forget to mention they shoot fire? And grenades? And elemental ammo? How about now? Was that exciting enough for you? No? Really? Wow, tough crowd. Hmm. Well, there is one thing I haven't mentioned yet. We added skill trees for you to upgrade your turret with! Yep, if you've played Borderlands 1 or 2 or any other RPG game ever, skill trees should be a familiar gameplay aspect. So here's how it works for sentry turrets. First, you buy one of the three available sentry types. Bullet, flame, or grenade. You can only have one turret at a time, and in order to change turret types, you must erase your skill tree progress and start from scratch. Each of the turret types has their own advantages and disadvantages, which you will find while using them. One I will mention in this video is that the bullet turrets are the only turret type that can be loaded with elemental ammo, but depending on which map you are playing, it may be more effective to have the spread damage of a flame turret, or the radius damage of a grenade turret. Once you have chosen your turret type, the first tier of skills will become available for purchase. I'll only show a couple of the skills here because I wouldn't want to spoil it for all of you now before you even get to play for yourself. Here's one called Armory. As the name applies, this skill allows you to add metal armor to your turrets, giving them increased health. Level 1 armor is rusty and beat up, while level 3 armor is diamond plated. Your turret has a health, and if you let zombies too close to it, they will start attacking it and it will take damage. If your turret takes too much damage, its health will reach zero and it will break. Once your turret is broken, you will have to buy a new one from the vending machine. Don't worry, your skills will still be purchased for this new turret. This one's called Precision. This skill allows you to increase the accuracy and effectiveness of your turret. Level 1 will improve your turret's convergence time, which is the amount of time the turret spends trying to focus on a moving target. Level 2 will increase your turret's rate of fire and level 3 will add a laser sight to your turret for further improved accuracy. Once you've invested in at least 6 skill levels of any group of tier 1 skills, tier 2 will become unlocked. Tier 2 upgrades are very powerful, and each one has its own advantages. You may only choose one skill from this tier to invest in, so choose wisely. This tier 2 skill is called Plague, and it allows you to give your turret some very unique abilities. Level 1 will cause nearby zombies to slow down to walking speed, which can be very effective in high rounds. Level 2 causes nearby zombies to have a decreased health level, making them faster to kill with any weapon. And level 3 will cause nearby zombies to explode if they are killed near to the turret, causing damage to other nearby zombies. And in the middle here we have the elemental skill. As the name implies, this allows you to choose one of the available elemental ammo effects, which we showed you a couple weeks ago and load it into your turret. Once the skill is purchased, any ammo you purchase for your turret will automatically be elemental at no extra charge. Elemental ammo deals extra damage and has awesome death effects for zombies. Well guys, that's all I'm going to show you in this video because like I said, I don't want to spoil everything all at once. Lastly, I have a few notes about the footage you saw. The effects of the flame turret are still being worked on, so the fire doesn't look as good as we would like it to yet. Also, the turret vending and ammo vending you saw in this video were just for demonstration purposes. We plan to make actual vending machine models for both of these things. We just haven't had enough time to make something polished for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you saw in this video. If so, please remember to leave us a like below and subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to support what we do and help us out, you can donate to us via the link in the description of this video. Finally, I want to make it very clear that this is promotional content for a mod that has not been released yet. That's why it says coming soon at the end of every freaking video. The reason I mention this is because we keep getting comments of people asking where they download this or what the name of the map is. Stop asking, please. Thanks, and have a great rest of your weekend. See you in two weeks.